Well, hey everybody, it's Grady back here at Uncle Sweetie's Model Works. Um, this is going to be my entry video into the Under 1000 group build. Uh, hosted by Mike at Mike's Model Shop and Rob at Time Machine Scale Models. Uh, they're putting this on to help all us uh, newer guys and smaller guys pick up a few more subscribers along the way. And I, I really want to thank them first off for hosting this build. And for, you know, helping the community like that. That's one of the greatest things about this whole YouTube model modeling scene. Is that, oh, I just caught a mouse. <laughs> That's what that sound was. Anyway, um, this is my entry into that. And I'm going to do a, uh, wow, okay. <laughs> That now now I'm now I'm all confused. That distracted me. Um anyway, I, I appreciate them putting this on. Yeah, that that thousand subscriber mark is all some is something most of us aspire to. You know, whether it's just a goal or whether it's to get a little few pennies from YouTube. Uh, my kit is gonna be a Revel Beretta Pro Street um kit. One from if you saw my hair pulling video about this uh, monster muscle machine kit and what's the difference between Pro Street, Pro Stock. Yes, it's one of the kits, one of the individual kits out of that big box. And that kit did not come in the group kit. It did not come with any decals. So I'm going to have to work on paint scheme, color scheme... Maybe try my hand at some graphics. Wait. Yeah, this one. And the, uh... <laughs> yeah, gonna try some new things. And he also said, uh... Show off your skills. Well, currently my skills in modeling aren't that great. But one skill I do have is to put what I do on camera, put it on YouTube, show my mistakes, show how I correct them, and show how I'm learning along the process. So that hopefully young people getting into the hobby or, you know, people that are struggling to learn something or just doing anything in your life, just go do it. Don't wait till you're smart enough or know enough or have enough or I need this tool or that whatever this video is being shot on an eight-year-old smartphone when i started this i had I, I had the same tools i had 25 years ago plus a few and let me tell you that's not much in the modeling world um don't be afraid to do anything just any wh whatever you whatever you want to do whether it's a new style of model or a new paint technique or this or that. or If you're watching all of these videos and thinking, man, I should start a YouTube channel. Start it. Film it. That's what I did. I, Dude, I talked to myself for a year. I should start a YouTube channel. I should start a YouTube Hey, great. I should start a YouTube channel. A couple of friends. You should start a YouTube channel and start building some of your model cars. Well, one day I decided I was doing it. So I shot a video, and I posted it, and here I am. So I'm going to turn this around, do a box of un unboxing-ish, on, and maybe some more ranting about this whole pro street, pro stock. Does Revel really know what they're doing when they're labeling these things? Here's a question to keep in mind in future videos. Does Revel make mistakes, or does Revel do this stuff on purpose? Because I got, I got, I got ideas for a couple of videos, maybe even a video series, that may be coming down the road. Anyway, I'm gonna get into this. If I've earned your subscription, click that button, click that like, give me a thumb, give me a finger. I don't really care which one. I'll give it back to you, whatever. And just keep on. Just keep on building and keep on doing whatever. Enjoy life and live it. Be happy. Be kind. Here we go. This is 
what I'm doing. I am going to build the Chevy Beretta out of this kit. <laughs> and yeah, I should probably sell this because I've had it so long. <laughs> I, I, I guarantee you I didn't pay a fifth of what I can get out of it. So there's the instructions. Let me figure out which is which. Um, I think, yeah, the Beretta is orange. Let me check. So we've got... Wait a minute. That's T-tops, though. Um... This is the Beretta. this there's no glass in there that's t-tops that's probably a firebird one two three four top wheels this is one two three wheels is this the same i don't even see where this would have come from yes they are so i've got all the all the wheels I don't understand I don't understand uh, glass blah 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 that actually says Beretta looks like the one for the back um looks like I'm gonna have to learn how to polish glass huh because that well that isn't gonna show it very well do I have something dark yeah that is rough, as are those, as is that. Yay, but this is what I want to do. The reason I want to do this particular car is because if you guys have been following me, I, uh, and I'm going to do something else along the way if you guys have been following me I am doing a NASCAR build and I want it to be to a very high quality because I'm gonna donate it to my local Moose Lodge and so I decided I wanted to do for this build the uh, under 1,000 subscriber content creator build. All four tires, front and back. And I'm going to do... Crap, I can't reach. I'm going to do the same thing for the... If you, didn't, if you didn't see that, that's all four tires, front and back, and a baggie. This is the glass, which I'm going to cut in half and put in a, another sandwich bag. And then I will put all the kit stuff in a big freezer bag. Whatever, so that we don't... Oh, goodness, so that we don't lose parts, blah, blah, blah. All right. Man, this is a reach. Okay. So we've got Beretta body. Looks good. Uh-huh. Oh my, we've got something. That's weird. That was in plastic. I don't I don't know what that is. Let's see if I can catch it on the camera. Yeah, they're a little bit kind of in the glare though. So right here and right here are they look like well, they're not though. They don't exactly look like tire burns. It's something. Looks like maybe hardened in the plastic before it stopped flowing or something. I don't know. I am going to have to do some sanding on that. And boom. What else do we have here? But I want to I want to do this Pro Stock, Pro Street. This is Pro Street. I wanted to do something with roll cage and a big motor. We got hood. Oh, not what I wanted. 
red. It's got a 3D roll cage already done. And there's front... Oh, interesting. So, in my little rant video in the unboxing of this, this has the honeycomb bumper on it so we will look for the rest it does have the rounded hood scoop though all right there's the door card with the big meats but i wanted to do this so i could get some practice building a roll cage and big motors and tub cars and short front ends and blah 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 and We'll see where we're going to get on that. we got headers. we got a dashboard. Looks like a parachute mount. Another door card. And a base. Another part of the uh, hood scoop. And engine transmission. Belts. Steering wheel. Blah, 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 blah. More roll cage, which is good. Just want to learn to do that. Oil pan. Transmission tunnel. And various other parts. What do we have here? We've got tub chassis, which is what I want to see. We've got two seats. So that would, for me, define Pro Street. Um, more. Yeah, there's firewall. Engine parts, more roll cage. What is this? This is rear bumper. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. And I don't see, and this may be a little part that I need to hang on to. I don't see. Let me go back through here again. Looking for a cover. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So, if you watched my hair pulling dilemma on this kit and the differences between Pro Stock, Pro Street, the differences between these kits, how they're labeled, and what's in them, and specifically the history of this one. Never mind. That's the Thunderbird, not the Beretta. This is correct, and I'm losing my mind. All right, that's so that's what I've got. And I will throw all of this back in the big bag and get ready to build it um yeah i'm losing my mind <laughs> i recorded this shortly after i recorded the other one where i was pulling all my hair out and i got a little confused i'm old it happens it's whatever um if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd appreciate it if you do if you enjoy the content uh hit a like leave a comment tell me tell me what you think of my plan to build this kit so that I can practice to build a uh, Salvino's kit. Um, yeah, tell me what. <laughs> tell me, tell me what you think of of what what I'm gonna get. If I'm gonna really get any practice and be ready for a Salvino's kit, or if I'm just not and I'm just gonna be winging the whole damn thing. Anyway, love you guys. Thanks for all your support. Thank you. Thank you for watching, subscribing. All that stuff. So do all those YouTube things for me. And get get out there. Do something. Live, live your life. Do your hobbies. Don't don't be afraid to start something new. Man, this is so much fun. And I'm, I'm glad I started this. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Alright, so again, I'm losing, losing my mind. I was stressed and pulling my hair out. Found the rest of the chrome tree. Looks like they cut it apart to put it in the box. And this is where that one wheel went. And I've got the other ring. More wheelie bars. Looks like part of the fuel cell maybe. Or fire extinguisher. I don't know. I'll figure it out. 
But I found the rest of the chrome I was looking for that I was wondering why it wasn't there. But yeah, I'm getting it all in a freezer bag. And yeah, and anyway, <laughs> this is great at Uncle Sweetie model, Models Works, and I am out one more time. See ya.